Good afternoon. Welcome to Lunch with Loretta here at Choice Farm Market. I'm Loretta and I'm here today with Katrina. Hi, and thanks for having me. Glad to be here. Yeah, well, thanks for agreeing to do this. Yes. <laughs> so it's another beautiful day here in mid-Michigan. A little bit of overcast, but we do have some rain in the near future. Uh, so we're grateful for that, yes. always. Um, so we'd like to know how your day is going. So comment, if you will, and uh, we'd like to hear from you guys. So we appreciate that. Um, here we are once again. This is episode three. We do lunch with Loretta usually twice a month. Next month we're just going to do it on um, the 21st. And we try to pick a topic. Um, today's topic is our ox burgers. And it won't always be about food, but it seems like while we're trying to promote um, what we have and all that, that the last few episodes have been about food. Of course, we like food. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Good food, so, too. Not just yes. food, but yeah. really tasty food. Yeah, and Katrina is <laughs> part of our kitchen crew, and I know she alone has a following because she makes really yummy soups and stuff like that. So um, we're going to credit Katrina with a lot of that. Um, so couple of new things we have at the market. We have a couple new shining faces. Becky and Teresa have joined our team here and we're excited to have them on board. Um, yes. We are doing, we've got a few more of the Bergdorf wines and a couple more of the um, Old Nation beers here. Um, what else do we have that's new here? Well we're doing great. We did some grab and go wraps. Um, they seem to be really well liked. We did bacon and chicken. We did a club wrap. All delightful, delicious, and we sold out of them. Yes, we can't keep the grab and go counter stocked. But uh, and those again, everything's homemade in our kitchen from scratch. So I'm um, more excited about that. Um, we have some new soaps from Sylvia's Soaps. Uh, she's from Stockbridge. They're beautiful. If you've not seen them yet, pop in and make sure you look at them. Um, they're, she's very talented, um, and so we're excited about having her. Uh, products available in our store too. They almost so. look too pretty to use uh, and they smell <laughs> delightful. Yes, so they, when they she first brought them in I wasn't here so uh, Amanda had taken a picture of it and sent it to me and I was like because I, I thought they were pastries. I thought they were something that was like a cupcake decorator or whatever because it was just so gorgeous. Yes, and they are very pretty. Like they're <laughs> so, yes, they yeah. are very pretty. Yeah, so um, a couple things before I forget that, that we have coming up that we're really excited about is we have our first um, classic car cruise in. And I have been educated on the difference between a car show and a car cruise. This is a car cruise, so you can just pop in. It's going to be next Friday, June 30th. It's going to be from 5 to 8. Uh, you don't have to pre-register. You come in, stay as long as you want. We will have beer and wine tasting. We're going to have some samples from some of the different things we have here in the store as well. I believe they're doing a 50-50 raffle. Uh, we'll have a drawing for a door prize. I'm uh, pretty excited. We've got a lot of our own people coming and bringing their, I think Katrina yes. is bringing her truck. And yes. so um, we just want to, to make sure we get that shout out and, and invite you all to, to come for that. Yeah. So. so if you know anybody who has a vintage vehicle, doesn't have to be a truck, you know, bring out that, bring that Studebaker on um, June 30th, five to eight. Yeah. Bikes are welcome as well. We had that question. So, um, and we'll also be featuring uh, Narita's pantry, and she will have. Um, she's going to be cooking up Benjamin beef burgers and our brats and hot dogs, and we'll have some of our choice farm market potato salad, macaroni salad for sales. So. Oh, good, good. Our salads are really good. Um, we do have them in smaller portions or larger portions. So stop in. We usually have one of several types, whether it be coleslaw, potato salad, spaghetti salad, you know, and if there's something that you would like that you don't see, let us know. You know, there's no reason maybe we can't work it into, you know, our menu. For sure. We're always looking for new ideas. So, uh, hi, Julie. Glad you could join us. So, all right. So, with that being said, um, today, like I said, we're going to try the Choice Farm Market Ox Burger, and I also as a surprise for Katrina, because I know she prefers ox soup. Try to ox soup and we'll get her take on it. She's gonna give me some pointers on that. I'm not as well in the kitchen as Katrina and Cindy are about just whipping things up. If I don't have a menu and read ingredient for ingredient, I'm toast. <laughs> I can't do it. I, I think it's a it's a skill and, and I don't have it. So. Um, one fun fact, uh, it's a crazy burger fact, 
So the world's largest burger costs eight thousand dollars. Eight thousand dollars. So this is from foodandwine.com, and there is a. 1,794 pound cheeseburger that just became the world's largest cheeseburger commercially produced by and it sold at Mally Sports Grill and Bar in Detroit. So it took four years to plan on how to cook it and I'd like to know how they cooked it. Me I mean, too. I can't imagine. <laughs> I'm always paranoid about you know if I do the big half pound burgers or whatever is it getting done enough you know or without overdoing it so that. I think it'd be interesting to find out how, how do you even it. get your mouth around something like that <laughs> even if you cut a slice of it it's like no that's not gonna work I, I think you'd have to eat, probably eat it in layers yeah. almost. but so the burger is topped with 300 pounds of cheese tomatoes onions pickles and lettuce the bun alone which was donated by Michigan bread company weighed 250 pounds uh, when it was finally constructed the burger measured three feet tall and five feet wide in its entirety and it's entirely edible so i just can't imagine that we just saw a picture of it before we went on and it's like it's just incredible if you want to see it go to foodandwine.com backslash news backslash world's dash largest dash burger and you can see for yourself and let us know what you think if you do that that's I, I just, it's crazy big <laughs> yes it is so um i'm going to ask the audience and also katrina what are your go-to condiments I'm a ketchup girl. I like ketchup on my breakfast, on my supper. I like ketchup most of the, any time. Please tell me you're not one of those people that eat ketchup on eggs. Scrambled I do. Eggs. Oh, my sister does. Yes, and potatoes. <laughs> yes, ketchup is my favorite. I can see the potatoes because it's like french fries. Yeah. Well, that's true. Yeah, I can see that's that. That's true. Yeah. I personally, I'm a mustard girl. Oh. I like, especially like if it's a little spicy or like a honey spicy mustard. Like a Dijon. Yeah, like mm. Grey Poupon. Remember that? Very, oh, yeah. Grey right. Poupon, <laughs> yes. For the high and mighty, the kings and queens <laughs> of the world. Well, I'm I'm kind of a just no brand whatever. So, oh, Cassidy says ketchup and mustard. And I want to give a shout out to Cassidy. She's done great taking over our social media stuff. and and making sure you guys have the menu. And, and if she doesn't have it posted the night before, that's on me, because I forget to take a picture of it to send to her. Uh, but she's doing a fa fabulous job, and we appreciate that. Yes, thank you. It's good. Yeah. It gives you, as a consumer, a chance to look at the menu ahead of time and decide whether, hey, I really like that, so I want to come in and try it. So it's definitely helpful to have it the night before. Yeah, I think a lot of people are appreciating yeah. that. So thank you, Cassie. Okay, so um, ketchup and mustard. Yep. All right. Ketchup and mustard go together. Yeah. yeah. In fact, the first time I had the ox burger, um, that's all I put on it was the ketchup. And to, to this day, that's pretty, or not ketchup, mustard. And to that, oh. yeah, that's what I put on. See, on an ox burger, I sometimes like barbecue sauce. I will have ketchup too, but I like sometimes barbecue sauce on mine. Yeah, I can see that. Kind of like a beefy barbecue. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that makes yeah. that makes sense like a pulled beef, you yep. know, we have the barbecue sauce yep. on. So All right. So I think every, first of all, I think um, our, our town is missing our, our town celebration and part of our town celebration was the tradition of the ox roast. And every town has their celebration. I think DeWitt actually does an ox roast as well. Yeah. Um, and so we kind of, starting in, um, I think 2019 was the last year that the firemen put, put on the uh, Fireman's Field Day and had the ox burgers. And um, of course, then the pandemic came the following year and so they didn't have it. But I think 2019 was their 73rd, I think 73rd year. Somebody out there correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I don't know if it was annual or if they took a year or two off here or there, but anyway, 73 years. They did the ox. I roast. think basically until the pandemic, it happened every year. Yeah, that's what I figured, but yes. Yeah, I, I'm not. You and I are, are transplants to Weberville. We actually yes. are from Dansville. Yeah. Grew up together. Um, just happened to both marry Weberville men. Men. So. Yeah. <laughs> so we ended up about two miles from each other again. Right. So. <laughs> so, um, so, and I think that the, the only people besides the firemen that will truly understand what the amount of work, and it's, it's a, a, a lot of work that goes into that ox roast every year, would be the spouses of the firemen. And Katrina's late husband, 
Cliff was on the fire department, I think, almost his entire adult life. Yes. Gen and multi-generational, and I think that's true for a lot of the, the volunteer yes. firemen. It's multi-generational. So, yes. Katrina, what was your first experience for the Oxford Post? Well, as you said, um, my husband, um, late husband, was a fireman. He was fire chief. He was assistant chief. We were together 36 years, and he was on the fire department that whole time. Um, it was a lot of work. <laughs> I mean, a lot of work. Um, but it was worth it. The community loves it, and the community missed it when it stopped. Um, I kind of got thrown into it. You you work that whole week getting ready for ox roast, um, and you wake up at 2 in the morning the day before you're having it to get the meat cooking so it's ready in the morning to start the processing to make the burgers and soup. Um, it was a labor of love, to say the least. <laughs> I remember sometimes you kind yeah. of complained. <laughs> yes. I, I, it wasn't my favorite, you know. It wasn't, you know. It definitely took my husband away a lot. But, you know, it's a worthy cause. And that was really mainly the only fundraiser that the fire department did. And it always amazed me how much the community showed up. And when I say show up, okay, you're talking of a small podunk town, basically. But these people in this town loved the burgers, loved the community. Mm -hmm. And they would show up for breakfast. They would show up for lunch and supper. And then if there was any left at the end of the week, they wanted to take it home in containers and they would <laughs> freeze it so they could have it all year. Yeah. So... I, I'm guilty of that. I've taken some home and yeah. it. And for me, it was always that, you know, the, pushing the easy button because our guys were always harvesting. And sometimes I'd feed up to five, seven people. And so instead of cooking like I always did for them, I would just go up and say, I need, you know, 20 ox spurs and boom. Here. Yeah, and I didn't have to clean up anything. <laughs> exactly. I did the cleaning up after hours, which is one coming. reason I didn't like it. <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> So um, we, we had this discussion just a little bit ago. Um, do you prefer the ox? Because they also did soup. And I know a lot of people preferred the soup. Right. And I found out recently that you actually preferred the soup right. over the ox burger. Right. And I like the ox burgers. And that's one of the things I love about Choice Farm Market's ox burger, their take on it, is they don't grind all that meat up. On the fire department, we ground it all up. Mm, not for me. However, go to the, you know, cooker, lift up the lid, take out a big chunk of beef and eat it that way on a sandwich. Delightful. And that's how it's done here. It's not ground up. You know, so I definitely like it that way better than ground. Yeah, and I think that's a personal preference. A lot of, you know, people are sensitive to different textures yes, and stuff like that. Like, sure. I didn't mind it ground. Right. I just didn't mind going through, through all the work <laughs> yeah. here. So. I didn't like the mushiness of it. <laughs> oh, so are you one of those people that you say, my husband does this. He does it with a regular burger. Todd just, he'll take a burger and he wraps it up with wax paper and lets it sweat. And I, I know because somebody's coming in before when we've had the ox burgers about somebody else wrapping up and sweating. And so we kind of read it, misread it the first time and thought, oh my gosh, our burgers are, they're soggy, you know, and it come to find out it wasn't, it's just how somebody preferred it. So yeah. were you one of those that wrapped it all up and let it sweat? No. And, okay. No. Me if either. I, when I wrap it up, I want to unwrap it and eat it. Yeah. I don't like soggy <laughs> I don't buns. want it to sit, yeah, <laughs> me either. Not for yeah, me. Yeah, not me either. Yeah. No. So how many burgers do you think in a weekend that you, well, you didn't eat burgers. How many, how many burgers do you think the average person ate in a weekend? Oh during the my Oscars? gosh. I mean, I mean, I would say we typically went through 300 plus pounds of meat for that weekend. And the weekend we're talking, you know, Friday, Saturday, and then Sunday was always the FFA chicken barbecue. Right. So we just did that on Friday and Saturday. Um, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. Like I said, people came morning, noon, and night. It yeah. always amazed me how much the community showed up, yeah. you know, for for this meal. I, I think for me, because I liked the Ox Burgers, it, it's funny because when they stopped having it, like, I actually craved it, and that's why it's, I took it upon myself to try to recreate the Ox Burgers, because I had that craving. And I go all year, not crave them, but... 
I just crave them right. that time of year. I think probably for me, tops was probably six or seven in a weekend. And like you said, I would have it for <laughs> breakfast, yeah. lunch, yeah. supper. I would maybe eat two, <laughs> one on Friday, one on Saturday. I know, I'd be there both days. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah. Uh, no. So. Um, so we make our ox burgers here um, every fourth every fourth Friday of the month, and if we have some left over, we serve them also on Saturday. Um, and at, but next is it next month? No, I think it is the fourth. There's one one weekend that it's going to be a different a different. And we'll we'll be sure and let you know because um, I think people are getting used to having them the right. fourth Friday. Um, so. How we how our ox burgers come is they come obviously on a bun the burger it's gonna come on a bun and I, I'm sorry it was kind of wrapped up a little bit <laughs> oh we're sweaty. gonna have soggy buns oh goodness so you get a burger so it, it would just be one burger I just put two on the same boat and a bag of chips for seven dollars so it's, it's a pretty nice, good value nice meaty yeah meaty oh you know what we forgot <laughs> ketchup and ketchup. mustard <laughs> oh well, well it's we're fun. experiencing the burger itself so so oh peggy says it was about 1800 pounds the last few years so wow wow 300 when you said that because i thought that's you get that out of one steer, but right. I thought it would take multiple steers. Yeah. To, yeah. So 1,800 pounds of burger. Wow. Yeah. Thanks, Peggy. Appreciate yeah. it. Um, so, yeah. this is, And Loretta has done a great job in capturing the flavor. It, Like I said, the meat's not ground. It is, you know, shredded. But the flavor is there. The flavor tastes like an ox burger. For, so if you haven't been in here and tried them, one of you... Who want this and are missing it definitely make sure you come in and try it and I think you're gonna love it just like you did at the fire hall I actually sometimes will put onions and relish on mine too I don't know the messier the better I figure if it's not messy it's you know not as good Gotta have it dripping down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now let's All try right. the soup. Mm. So the soup I made, specifically for Katrina. Mm. Mm. Great, fl great flavor. Nice and beefy. Yeah. I do think that if you were to do more of a traditional ox roast soup. Um, I believe it had some noodles and maybe chunk, a few chunky vegetables. Um, okay. They also, when they ground up the meat, you know, you have your carrots, your celery, and different condiments that you put in the meat when you're cooking it to really infuse that flavor. But they also did that with the soup when they pulled the broth off. So I think if you added some noodles to that, okay. I think that that would be more traditional. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't think about noodles. I never had their soup, so I didn't realize what right. was all in it. But I just thought, no, I'm going to try this for Katrina. Yep. And I appreciate it. It's yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> so Heather says, thank you for bringing these, the recipe back to our community. And you're very welcome, Heather. It's our pleasure. Uh, one of the things we do here at Choice Farm Market is we, we love giving to our community. Our community has really supported us um, from day one. And so, you know, we just... It, we have to give back. I mean, we, we love our community and um, we've always supported the community. So and we I, appreciate that. Yeah, and I think if you haven't been here yet, which I know most, a lot of people, at least community-wise, have been here, um, it's just a homey. When you walk into this building, it truly just calms your soul. I mean, it's just very relaxing, very country, kind of sometimes reminds me a little bit of, you know, Little House on the Prairie and the general store where they have the old cupboards where they have all the food. So I, I love the atmosphere here. And I love that the people here are really nice. Yeah. And cook good food. <laughs> yeah, they do cook good food. Yes. And um, I think they, they share our passion too. Yeah. Uh, we're very grateful for that. Um, so again, we are uh, having our car show on June 30th, uh, next Friday. So Please stop out. 
Um, if you're enjoying this, please like us, please share us. It does help us get seen. I can't tell you how many times people will say, I never see your stuff unless I go to your page. It's not showing up on my news feed and stuff. And I don't understand a lot about Facebook. Um, I'm just not on it a lot. It's our generation. <laughs> <laughs> but but I, from what I understand, from what everybody's telling me, is the more likes and shares and comments that we get, the more our, our page will pop up in the news feed. So. Right. Yep. Yes, for sure. And, and if you know someone, you know, definitely recommend them to come in here. Even if you just come in and look around, you know, you never know what might tickle your fancy. So, for yeah. sure. So, Leslie's saying that $7 is a great price for that, and it is. It is a value. Thank you, Leslie. Also wondering if she could put cheese on it, and we sure can. We've got sliced cheese. We've got shredded cheese. If you want to add that to your burger, um, absolutely, we can do that for you. So, um, so I'm going to leave it at that. Um, I'm going to hand this off to you guys and um, let, let us know what you think in the comments, like I said. Um, and um, if you have any suggestions of, of what you might want to see in yeah. the future, what you want to see us doing here, um, you know, we're open to suggestions and we, we are just are here to serve you guys. So with that, have a great afternoon and thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having me.